Hey everybody, hope everyone's staying well. Yeah, so we are, uh, we've had a few busy weeks, uh, new equipment in the shop, and then we also have launched a few new items, new designs that we've worked out. Uh, but we are here and we are kicking off a new video series. So the video series is going to be an intro to Leathercraft, uh, but it's an emphasis on strap related goods um, or fire service leather. There are several, and we've seen them, um, intro to Leathercraft videos, but most of them are like, like wallets and yeah handbags. wallets and bags which is they're awesome videos but it's a very different skill set than strap related goods compared to making a wallet so that's what we're going to do we're going to kick the series off it's going to be in a very simple manner each video is going to cover basic skills with the title corresponding to what we cover but within that video we know that we also have a crowd of professional or semi-professional leather crafters um, that have some equipment or similar machines that we have. So not only are we gonna show the way that it can be completely done by hand, but we also wanna cover the way it could be done with um, tools, machinery, or bigger equipment. Uh, because this is not just for the weekend crafter, this could also be for the professional, you know, professional crafter. crafter that's doing leather goods. So with that, First video is gonna be on basic tools. And this video is gonna be really awesome for two reasons. It's a basic tool video, and we love basic hand tools when it comes to Leathercraft. And secondly, Weaver Leathercraft hooked us up with a sweet box, we haven't opened it yet, but we know what's in it, of basic leather tools. Um, we're gonna to do an unboxing and then a giveaway of what's in the box. Super simple to enter. So what was it to enter? They're going to uh, subscribe, to, subscribe to the channel. YouTube channel and then leave a comment below on a, a video you yep. want to see. Yep. So any video you'd like to see us cover. We obviously have a huge list um, of videos that we'd like to do because there's so many facets, uh, but we'd also love to hear your interest. So with that. And it kind of helps us pick which route we go next. Exactly. Yeah. So. Outside of that, we are going to kick this unboxing off, uh, cover some basic hand tools, and then some lucky winner is going to score this sweet box of tools. So we hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Give us an old thumbs up and enjoy the video. Peace! Basic hand tools. So this video uh, is going to cover basic hand tools, but really you're all probably pretty excited about participating in this giveaway. So Weaver donated this box to the giveaway and it is packed full of basic tools. Uh, somebody's gonna really score with this. There's some really nice tools in there. There's some entry level tools in there, uh, but there is something for everybody. And it's pretty awesome. So real simple to enter, Courtney and I already mentioned it earlier. Just subscribe to our page and leave a comment below on a video you'd like to see. Uh, every subscription to our channel helps us grow which allows us to keep producing and doing videos and new ideas and creating things that we enjoy. All right, let's jump into this thing. So uh, as I take the tools out, uh, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of what it does, not necessarily how to use it. Some of them are definitely self-explanatory, um, whereas some of them are gonna require a video in themselves. So incredible amount of goods in this box. Uh, thanks again to Weaver. Um, very kind gesture to, to do for this giveaway. Uh, great tools in here. This is definitely more than what you would need to just get started. So starting off here, we have a stitch groover. So this could be used to mark the edge of a leather good or, or a certain distance off of the edge of a leather good for stitching. Um, it can either crease or actual make a groove. There's an actual cutting bit that you could place in it. Uh, you don't even have to sew it. You can also just use it as an edge detail. All right, next up you got a metal with a gripped back uh, square. So you can use this for cutting corners, uh, making straight lines. I mean, that's, that's definitely a self-explanatory tool, very valuable. Uh, this is a wood slicker. So this is how you're gonna burnish your veg tanned leathers uh, to get your edges looking how you'd like them. Then we have this massive awl. Um, it's a big awl. I guess I could see some use for it. It definitely wouldn't be used for anything other than just tracing out patterns. Here's the size that I use. And then there's that bigger one. They have them smaller. They have them bigger. Um, but it's just preference. A nice little razor blade where you could change out the blades. That becomes invaluable over time. 
you don't have to worry about sharpening a fixed blade when you're new. Uh, here's an edge beveler, and these are some of my favorite bevelers that we have. Uh, they work great, they produce an edge that I like the look of, and they sharpen really easy, which is a huge kicker. After that, let's see what else in here. So here's a rotary punch, a handheld punch, so you can rotate out the tube sizes. You see you rotate through, um, and it allows you to punch multiple sizes, but in one handheld tool, which is, is nice. Um, here's some needles, John James needles for hand stitching, as well as some tiger thread. I feel like personally learning to hand stitch is a very valuable lesson to earn, learn early on. It just, you earn a, a respect for hand stitching for folks that solely hand stitch all of their goods. And here you have a full set of uh, six mil diamond chisels pretty awesome. Uh, it is nice having the full set like this because if you're doing a long good, you can use the six or seven, whatever, how many teeth are on that prong. But then if you get into a tight spot, you can go down to the two prong or three prong or one prong, whatever it is. Um, and it's nice to have that option. That was a, a nice addition for sure. Here's some glycerin saddle soap, great aid for burnishing as well as great to have around for cleaning. And this, this one is incredible. So it is a very nice master tools mall. So it's a stacked leather handle, poly head, and then all brass fittings. Not only is it a great mall to have, uh, it also is aesthetically a very nice looking tool. So somebody's scoring pretty awesome with this thing. That's an exciting one for sure. So from here, uh, getting into this box, I'm going to speed it up. Light speed. All right, so this is pretty awesome. So a strap cutter. I find that this strap cutter is one of the best performing strap cutters, the wooden strap cutters. Um, they work really well. We've used plow gauges, draw gauges. Um, we've used the cheapest wooden handle strap cutters there are, and we absolutely love the wooden handle ones. They just, they work. Here's a pound of board. Um, great to be able to cut on or a cutting board surface. If you're like most of us, uh, starting into leather craft, you're probably going to be working at your kitchen island or kitchen table. Uh, that's where it all starts. But uh, if you're interested in starting into leather craft, this is a great toolbox to get. Um, whether you get this one specifically or you visit Weaver's site and pick up some basic tools. Our video series plans to cover how to use these tools uh, and as well, uh, the ultimate goal at the end of the video series will to be to build along um, an item. We haven't decided yet what the item's going to be. We'll probably do a poll on Facebook or Instagram for that and then make a decision. But that's what it is. We want to kind of go on a leather craft journey, per se, from the basics to creating something. Um, that's not as simple as like we did the glove strap video, something maybe a little more challenging to create. All of the rules to participate will be down in the description. Hope you all have a great week and good luck to everyone who participates.